Hello, this is Kai from KaiLab and I'm going to show to you today in this video how you set up your M-Audio Oxygen Pro as a MIDI controller for Cakewalk. I've seen that there are a lot of people who want to control Cakewalk with their M-Audio Oxygen Pro MIDI controller. But obviously it's not really easy because M-Audio does not provide a preset for the Cakewalk DAW. There are a lot of presets for many other DAWs, but not for Cakewalk. And I would like to show to you today how we can achieve this. Now we are controlling Cakewalk with my M Audio. For example, the faders and slider 9 is, as you can see, is my master slider. To achieve that, you have to go into the Oxygen Pro 61 preset editor. That's a neat little software that you get from M Audio. This is the preset editor and uh, as you can see it's at the moment in the preset mode but we want to configure it for the DAW mode and that means we click on DLW and you see this changes the view uh, on your software fundamentally and actually this is not a self-explanatory software. So what you can do is to learn from other presets that are already in your keyboard. For example, if we just take a look into our software, I just switch on the default DAW, that is MPC, and then I can retrieve the preset. So as you can see, there is MPC and you see everything in this preset is CC based. But you don't have to go with CC, you can also use other uh, kind of uh, control modes. But uh, for MPC software and some other software, for example um, Ableton Live, CC is absolutely fine. But what we need is something like Logic Pro because we want to use a Mackie UE control interface. The reason for this is that we don't have to learn in the system and we don't have to make a big difference between the main faders and the bus faders and all that stuff. We shouldn't. But, obvious, uh, but as you will see, it might be necessary. Logic Pro, as my DAW, I don't <laughs> own Logic Pro, but Logic Pro is next to Cakewalk in terms of interfaces. So, at least I think so. I don't have any idea <laughs> what I'm talking about. Everything I know, I found out by trial and error. So, now we have Logic Pro and I have to retrieve the preset. Okay, and as you can see, most of those interface controllers are UE. So, as you can see, you can either do Mackey or Mackey UE, you could do every uh, a lot of different other <laughs> control interfaces, but Mackey UE it is. So one problem I found out for myself is that although the Mackey UE interface works wonderful with Cakewalk, there is still 
one thing I couldn't control, and that was the master fader. And obviously, if you are playing your keyboard with your DAW, you want to have a, a remote control for your master fader. So I thought how I can accomplish that. And since I already had that in a not so good solution, I thought maybe I can marry two solutions. One that is really good for all the stuff that's standard. And then I add something that gives me the possibility to control the master fader. And that's what I did. So, and I show you what I did. Um, with Cakewalk, you have a choice. You can either do um, the Mackie UE interface, or you can also uh, implement an ACT interface. Don't know what this really means, but ACT interfaces uh, use CC nodes. So we will have to use that one fader we want to control with CC nodes. So that's what I did. Now I switch to the custom preset that I did for my own purposes. So Retrieve Preset. Okay, and you see it's called Cake Wall. Yeah, because it's... Uh, <laughs> I'm one letter short in the naming. And as you can see, everything is UE, but not the last fader here, the fader number 9. This is CC41. As you can see. And the reason is, I want to use a different interface just for the master fader. We are back in Cakewalk, and now we have a look on the two uh, on the setup of the two controller interfaces so control surfaces and you see that i have an act midi controller and a mackie control that's okay but first of all i have to show you how to make these interfaces um, controllable through the keyboard and that means we have to go to the devices setting now we have to go to devices so and there you see that i activated oxygen pro 61 and oxygen uh, midi in 3 from oxygen pro 61 i need both channels yes. you in a moment why so back to control surfaces and you see that the Mackie controller uses only an import, and that is MIDI 3. And the MIDI, uh, ACT MIDI controller uses MIDI in 3 as in, and the back channel is Oxygen Pro 61. So, and through this, it's possible to control this. Let's have a, have a look into the two different interfaces. The Mackie control is pretty much basic. You can't do really a lot here. What's important is that there is uh, the handshake disabled. So that means there are must be only one channel, there is no back channel. And uh, everything else, yeah, is like it is. I tried to define the master fader as the fader 9, but that didn't work, so I had to um, implement this ACT controller. So let's go into the ACT controller to see what I did. In order to make this work, you have to load the M Audio Oxygen 61 preset, which is preset 10. 
I made my own preset, which I added later, but it's basically the same. So the ACT controller is pretty much, it's very easy. So what I did is I went into the bus control group. You have to define for the tracks. Uh, if, if you are doing a ACT interface route, you would have to have a track control group, a bus control group, and a main control group. And everything is, uh, all those control groups is a different ACT interface. And uh, I did that originally, but it didn't work out so well. So that I said, now I only want it for the master fader. So and you see, uh, what I did was I just uh, selected bus and selected this one and said MIDI learn and then I used the fader here and it was learned. It's really easy. That's what, what you have to do here. That's really easy. So and to close it and everything should work now. And of course, the transport controls work as well. So that's how you set up your Cakewalk installation so that you can control it through your M Audio Oxygen Pro. Thanks for watching.